Hello YouTube and welcome back to us play SAS4 Zombie Assault Beta thing again. I don't know if it's actually beta or if it's released, but anyways. Um, so this is going to be my second time playing uh, the game and I'm still pretty much a noob and uh, multiplayer extra rewards and proof boots and stuff. So I guess I can play it with you guys, uh, but of course because it's the first time I'm playing and I don't know how to join people and stuff, I'm just going to keep going. I'm going to say no to this. Uh, or I probably should I should have paid more attention to that. I didn't really read it. I just saw stuff that I can buy and I figured, no, I'm not going to buy it. So I'm just going to next, next and stuff because I'm sure I should pay attention to the story. I'm sure it's great, but uh, obviously I have very low tolerance for reading when I'm playing games, uh, specifically when I'm recording games, not necessarily when I'm playing games. Uh, so I skip intro and stuff. Uh, and I'm sure probably you guys um, have read that or seen it and stuff. Um, so, yeah, I guess. <laughs> I don't know what else to say. Uh, probably going through the intro would help make the video closer to 10 minutes, depending on how long the missions last, if they get longer, shorter, and stuff. I don't know. Um, but, yeah, again, I'll probably record all this week's episodes before I upload this video. Well, before I really get any comments on this video, so I'm not really going to know what I'm doing. Okay, so Q and E to swap weapons. Going to go with the, the pistol. Um, ah, um... Because apparently it has uh, infinite ammo, which is always great uh, when dealing with the zombies. Um, didn't even realize that zombie was there, the first one that attacked me. But um, again, like I said in the first episode, I do kind of prefer pistols. Although, because there are so many zombies, I should probably stick to a machine gun. Um, although I think the pistol had more damage and uh, the same attack rate. Um, just a different uh, clip size and all that, and I think uh, smaller clip size also helps with reloading uh, as far as the reload speed, even though you're reloading more frequently. Um, so I think being able to reload more quickly, even if you're re reloading more frequently, uh, in my opinion, is kind of better. So I would think that the machine gun is generally better, um, or that the, uh, the pistol is generally better than the machine gun. However, can't exactly be sure because I'm not 100%, and I'm assuming that this mission is going to be a bit different than the last one I was in, because in the last one I was just sort of defending myself uh, in one general spot, uh, rather than here where I'm actually running around and like seeking out the zombies, basically. Not really seeking the zombies, just ending up running into the zombies more than, uh, more than them finding me. Uh, and uh, yeah, that's kind of cool. Cool concept, I suppose, that there's different missions and stuff. But, um, yeah. <laughs> Again, I don't really know what else uh, to say because I don't have any, you know, pro tips or anything to give. Um, uh, I guess one little, not really pro tip, uh, but just general tip that I've picked up from general zombie fighting games, uh, or zombie shooting games, I suppose, which is eh, pretty much the same thing because it's not a lot of zombie games where you're not actually shooting them or you're just like, using a sword or something, melee weapons. I'm sure there are plenty of those games, like um, Dead Rising, I think. Uh, I haven't played that game, but I know I've seen stuff where you use like a, a chainsaw attached to a lawn, or not a lawnmower, um, well, you probably could <laughs> attach a chainsaw to a lawnmower, but I'm uh, not sure how that would work, but uh, attached to like a, a rake or something, but anyways, a uh, bunch of zombies over here in the dark, and uh, I can see them on the mini-map that they're over there, but um, so I just push this thing out of the way, I guess, to get through here? Maybe not, maybe that's not what you're supposed to do, maybe it is, I have no idea, but um, I kind of assume that is, because that seemed like the only way to get in there. But, um... Alright. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Again, sorry if my commentary is uh, a bit lacking. I feel like I should be more interested in the game and, like, uh, making, like... Uh, oh, hey, look at that. I'm on a train that's moving. I feel like I probably shouldn't have gotten on the train so early, because it seemed like there was more stuff to explore down there. But I didn't realize that this was a train that would take me places. But, um... Yeah, just gonna fire off a couple rounds because I have infinite ammo, basically. Um, even though it's not infinite clip size. Infinite clip size would be pretty interesting if you also had infinite ammo, because then not having to um, not having to reload would be pretty cool. And I don't think I can get out here. Uh, I'd actually kind of like to get out here just to explore a little bit more. And i uh, going to not use um, not use the pistol right there, because... Or, am I still using the pistol? I think I am. I think I meant to um, hit E to switch over to my machine gun, but then I accidentally hit R to uh, reload. But anyways, uh, let's see, you're supposed to go here apparently, and of course now the train is moving again. Um, and I don't think any enemies uh, should appear uh, while the train is moving. Kind of, not only really odd, but um, I don't know. 
I have no idea. <laughs> um, so yeah, uh, is there anything you guys specifically would want me to talk about or look for while I'm playing this game? Like for any of you that have actually played the game, uh, or I guess for any of you that haven't, um, anything that you're interested in uh, from the game that I should uh, be paying attention to or uh, trying to figure out or something. I don't know, any advice at all uh, would probably be pretty helpful. Again, I do generally tend to enjoy figuring games out on my own. But uh, specifically because you guys are going to be watching me play this and you're probably going to be mad if I miss something, I guess, uh, miss something important, some secret or something, if there are generally types of secrets in here. Um, so yeah, just anything you would specifically want me to look out for. Try not to have any like spoiler stuff, although I kind of doubt that there would be much spoiler stuff to talk about, or to, uh, to yeah, to talk about <laughs> in this kind of game. Um, just because there doesn't seem, or I'm not quite as interested in the story necessarily. Uh, just because they're, I don't know, the the way that the characters are, or character is in this game, it's kind of hard for me to uh, have any kind of attachment in the form of story stuff, I guess. I don't know. Maybe I'm just missing it or something. I don't know. But, uh, ah, excuse me. Um, but if there is some kind of story, plotline, spoiler, try not to talk about that stuff. Uh, but just any, like, gameplay stuff, like um, equipping armor or skill tree or stuff like that that I should um, probably know beforehand. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go back to the pistol um, just for now. Uh, get vaccine from the research lab because now, uh, as I can tell, uh, I should probably use a shotgun for these shielders, but maybe not. Maybe that's not the best idea. Kind of assume it is, but uh, okay, let's use another weapon for that. Um, maybe not the pistol either because uh, I think for the machine gun, or for the, uh, the shielded guys, I could just walk around them, um, probably, but, uh, let's see, vaccine, nope, not going up here, <laughs> not yet, uh, they might follow me down, not sure how that mechanic works, figured, I'm guessing I do have to go up there eventually, but just because I had to fight off that guy, want to check over here, in case there's any, like, health packs or something, even though I don't really need any health packs at the moment, um, Alright, I'm going to switch to machine gun, because there's going to be a lot of zombies, or seem like there's going to be a lot of zombies, maybe not as much as I thought there was, but, um, alright, yeah, so not that bad, uh, I was figuring a lot more zombies would be up here, but, um, yeah, <laughs> like I said, uh, not sure what else to talk about, because I don't get, like, super excited or scared when fighting all these zombies, because I kind of have the general mentality of, yeah, I'm fine, I'll, I'll survive, but, um, but, uh, yeah. So, I don't know, <laughs> I keep running out of things to say, because uh, I'm not as uh, excited, or not as, um, what's the term, like, invested, I guess, in the actual, uh, in the actual gameplay, I guess, or, like, horror aspect of uh, fighting a bunch of zombies, but, um, can I not go through here? Do I have to shoot my way through here? Is that thing? I'm probably wasting ammo, but, uh, maybe I'm supposed to shoot through here. I know, look at that! I am, and, uh... Not sure if I'm actually supposed to go in here, or if this is just some random place. Um, oh, look at that. I can shoot the toilet. Um, is there anything in here that I can do? No? Okay. So, I didn't read what that guy said <laughs> when I went in here. Or, um, I don't even know if it was a guy or a girl, but... Uh, Alright, so I'll just go this way, I suppose. And I okay, a bunch of zombies. <laughs> uh, probably should have seen that coming. But, um, yeah, I don't mind just firing a bunch of bullets into these uh, shielded, uh, shielded guys, even though I could probably just... Uh, walk around them, and uh, not sure if the shotgun is best for getting the zombies, or the uh, shielded zombies, or if I should try to just walk around them, or blast them with a bunch of machine gun shots, or anything like that. So, um, do I have to reload the 16? Or, yeah, it goes up to 25, so do I, do I shoot it? Do I shoot the thing that tells me to put my hand on it? Apparently not. Um, not sure if walking up there was enough to do what I need to do. I think it is, because then I can just walk through here. But, um, yeah, again, I don't know what I'm doing. Is there a bunch of zombies? Yes, there is a bunch of zombies. I kind of half expected at that time. Somewhat ready. Um, and uh, yeah, I can move while reloading. Um, am I not able to go through here again? Is there anything else that I can do through here? Yeah. Um, well, probably nothing else I can do, but um, fun to shoot stuff, I guess. Uh, yeah, again, I don't know what I'm doing. And uh, again, I should have realized there were zombies. Uh, use a shotgun because there's a bunch of them grouped together uh, in close quarters. And um, use the shotgun to get rid of the shielded guys. Not sure how well the shotguns do against uh, just a few big guys, but then I guess it's helpful to get rid of the little 
whatever things that come out of it. And what is this uh, cache stuff? And again, shotgun good against um, a bunch of smaller enemies grouped together, and I'm just shooting the door right there. Um, yeah, again, I, don't, I always run out of stuff to say, and I can't reload because there's only four more bullets in the shotgun. Might as well use up the rest of the ammo, even though it's probably a bad mentality to have. Like, oh, hey, I'm out of ammo. Might as well use more of it. Um, obviously, I'm not just going to use a bunch of it on nothing, and it's not base. Um, all right, so, oh, look, I got more ammo, I guess, somehow. Or is this, is this a different gun? No. Hmm. That's strange. When did I get more ammo? Was it... I have no idea. Um, but anyways, I'm fine with having more ammo, because I can just shoot more, kill more, do stuff like that. But, um... Alright. And, uh, shield guy was kind of turned around. Probably could have got, uh, better hits on that. Um, but, oh well. Let's just go through here to finish this off. Uh, take vaccine to drop ship. And why doesn't... Why does it run away? Why can't it just <laughs> come to where it was? But uh, I'm not sure how long this actual uh, mission episode thing is going to be. Um, I do kind of enjoy this side of it more, where I'm just running around trying to actually do stuff rather than um, just trying to survive. And uh, Regurgitator, massive dude. Um, again, not sure if shotgun is best for that. Probably, um, oh wow. Um, okay, yeah, I just can't hold that. I'm um, just going to use a pistol on him. Even though, like I said, machine gun would probably be better against a uh, bigger enemy, but um, yeah, that was pretty easy. Probably shouldn't have just walked through all that slime, but uh, I've got decent health left. Um, about half health, but uh, I haven't been losing health that quickly, I don't think. I wasn't really paying that much attention. I could probably just press 1 to uh, get a medkit, and of course it throws the medkit at the zombies, <laughs> which I don't think is going to do any damage to them. Uh, it'd be kind of cool if, like, uh, kind of like using uh, healing spells on en undead enemies in like RPG games um, tends to do damage to them. That would be kind of cool if throwing a med kit at a zombie uh, did damage to them. It would be kind of terrible if it actually healed them though, that would be, that'd be pretty bad. But um, obviously I don't think it made any kind of difference to them. Maybe it did, I have no idea. Um, and of course I know that the objective thing said that I was supposed to go down, but whenever the objective tells you to go one way, I tend to go the other way. Um, just to explore all the secrets and stuff. Um, zombie in that direction just firing even though he's off screen because uh, I have infinite ammo with the pistol which I really enjoy um, when they give you infinite ammo on a weapon even if it's just a pistol because then having infinite ammo kind of reduces the pressure to uh, be accurate <laughs> or uh, conservative with it uh, which is always pretty nice and uh, yeah and ah uh, shooting stuff at me I forgot what those things are called um, they're called spitters makes sense <laughs> since they spit and stuff I could probably just walk into that jet and uh, finish this off but again. I like to kill all the zombies, as, as many zombies as I can. Um, and uh, yeah, there's a couple. Oh, there's one more zombie over there. I think just killed it. All right. So I guess that's it. There might have been something I missed. Probably was, especially right before I went on the train. But uh, episodes pretty good. Uh, pretty good length. Um, and uh, yeah, click to open the steel strong box. Uh, yay! Gloves, I guess. Um, and not sure when would be beneficial to sell stuff. Probably when I have more stuff to sell. Um, this is another pistol. Uh, deals 140 damage. Uh, 8 rounds per second. Uh, smaller clip size. So I'd say that's probably better. Um, depending on if it has infinite ammo or not. Uh, if it does have infinite ammo, then I'd say it's better. But if it doesn't, then I'd say the other one's better. Just because of the whole infinite ammo thing. Uh, no, I did not want to watch a video, and, uh, see, I'm gonna switch that, and I'm thinking add augmentation. What does that do? Uh, deadly increases damage done, bad with his capacity, pinpoint, uh, blah, 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 uh, reload time. Yeah, I'll, uh, increase reload time, or decrease reload time, increase reload speed. Um, so yeah, can I max upgrade reach? Yeah, uh, can't upgrade these. Makes sense, I suppose. Uh, gloves, increase gloves, because I suppose that's better. But, um, can I just use, yeah, just one skill point to upgrade that even more, to decrease my reload speed even more. And, uh, again, I guess that's going to be for this episode, uh, because I don't know what else to do. So, uh, that's it for this episode. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.